Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with some of the life and stuff part, snacks. Gosh, I love snacks, especially when they are snacks from around the world. We are definitely going all around the world with today's snacks. Uh, we're going to start off with something quite yummy, I think. I have not tried it yet. From Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. Let's see if it'll focus on that. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. Awesome. It is a uh, McVitie's Club and it says orange milk chocolate crunchy biscuit with an orange flavored cream. So that will be coming from England. We are also going to Lebanon with this one. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And we are going to Mexico from this one, which comes from the Munch Box that I have a subscription to. Uh, let's see, I've got part of the corner ripped off, but Munch Box, and it's called Munch Addict. And uh, I will have that information down below. This one also comes from there from Japan, Dream Animals. Very, very cool. Looks like little animal crackers. We'll see how those are. But again, I am starting with England today. Now this one, I'm not sharing. Chocolate, orange, cream, it is all mine. All mine. The hand is going to, no, no, not for the hand. Not for the hand today. Oh, but it's, it's a nice big bar too. Oh, I can smell the orange in it. Wow. That smells delightful. Mm. Nice crunchy cookie or biscuit as y'all would call it. Mm. Oh, that deserves another bite. Mm. Here, I'll show you the inside. It is a chocolate bar with a cookie inside of it. It's not a biscuit, it's a cookie. And um, I taste the orange. I don't see any orange cream or anything, but it you definitely get the orange in it though. That is freaking delightful. I love me some citrus, I do. Love that. I'm just putting this aside for now so the hand doesn't get it. <sighs> Where to, next? Next, let's go to Lebanon. I picked this up. It's called Grandeur Unica Original. There's English and then there's French underneath it. Wafers coated with milk chocolate sensation. Okay, I actually purchased this at the Pita House, which is a restaurant slash little grocery store in um, Greenville, South Carolina that I love to go to because they have the best falafel I've ever had in my life. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. But they also have a little grocery store. And I like to pick up things from there. This, mm, I think structurally it might be quite similar to the one I just had, although this one may be layers because you can kind of see that layering going on when it was coated in the chocolate. This is a big bar, but it's light for its size. Mmm. Okay. You know those sugar cookies that we get that are just wafers and layers and they're very, very light. You, you bite them and they crunch and crumble everywhere. That's exactly what this tastes like on the inside coated with chocolate. I'm not mad at it. It's pretty good. Hmm. Well, the ham walked away. He could have taken a bite of this, but he's in there with headphones on so he can continue watching videos. Mm -hmm. Oh, he heard me. <laughs> All right. Gonna move on. Going from Lebanon to Mexico. This one is called the Muy Bon Roll Barcuyo Relleno de Crema Sabor Avellana con Cubrieta Sabor y Chocolate y Cacahuates, which translates to wafer filled with hazelnut flavored cream with chocolate flavored coating and peanuts. It's a 22 gram thing. They got a big package on it, but it's actually about the same size as the club one from England. Let's see how this one sizes up. 
And so far, none of these have been in Deborah Proof packaging. I'm impressed. Look at that. It's all bumpy. Looks like you can see the peanuts in that. Mmm. Oh, okay. You see that? The outside is chocolate. Then there's peanuts on the outside. The inside is filled with a hazelnut cream. A la, not Nutella, you know. Mmm. This is so good. Setting it down. Mmm. All the chocolate is so rich all at once. <laughs> okay, going to something a little bit different. These look like they're marketed towards kids. Although with Japanese snacks, you never know because they have so much stuff that's kawaii and it's so cute. Um, they have a little thing on the back. What shall we play? Let's play baseball, which with I presume the Japanese translations underneath. But they also have all the animals named. That is so cute. Little pictures of them. They have them in English. And then they have something Japanese next to it. Okay. Let's see if it's... Oh, oh, so far, not Deborah proof on this one either. The snack gods have been smiling on me today. They just want me to get larger. Because I am a fat chick. Alright. Comes all wrapped up in this... Uh, foil packet with even more cute stuff on the outside with the animals and stuff which you really can't see because of the reflection but that's okay okay let's see if there's a better way to open this because scissors scissors are the better way to open this because this packet was deborah proof i mean not as long as i have my scissors next to me but and it is absolutely full of what look like little crackers oh my gosh <laughs> it looks like a little cat but it's stamped tiger hmm not exactly like our animal crackers they're buttery yes oh my gosh And this cute little guy is a goat, covering up his little ears. See, goat. That's cute. Oh, they even smell buttery when you give them a good whiff. Mmm. These are definitely super buttery little crackers. I mean, they have a little bit of sweetness to them, but they're not overly sweet. But the butter is, and I said butter, and here comes the cat. He loves butter. Don't you? Yes, Mama said the word, didn't she? I'm not sure what a fur seal is. Fur seal. They all taste the same, of course. But, uh. Mm. Do you want some too, Oscar? Oh, he, he just got all excited when he heard me say that. This one says, Dear, we have plenty of these around our parts here. All right, we'll see if Oscar wants some. Let's break off a teeny tiny piece for him while I eat a piece. What? Yeah. He's purring at it. <laughs> I held it in my fingertips and he purred at it. And then I didn't drop it for him or anything. So he reached up with his paw and went. So, and he ate it. All gone. All gone. Yes, we do that to him like you would do a two year old. Because having a cat is like having a perpetual toddler. 
one who poops in a box. But that's another story. Okay. Wow, that was a lot of snack all at once. It's a good thing I didn't have breakfast because, yeah. So what do I think of these? Of the Club Orange from Miss Lisa Ladybird. Oh my gosh, yes. These rock. They are all for me, all for me, because I love chocolate and orange together. I also, I just love orange and, and stuff, yeah. Let's, see, let's go to the Lebanon one next. These are really good. Would I go out of my way to find one of these bars? No, not me, because, you know, it's, it's like chocolate on one of those wafer cookies. They're good, though, but I wouldn't go out of my way for one. Does that make sense? Delicious though. Nice chocolate. Good crunchy wafer. Yeah. Fat chick approved. Definitely. This one here. I would go out of my way for this. The muy bomb. Yeah. I need to check my local uh, uh, Mexican markets to see if they have any of this. Because. Mm-hmm. That's yummy. That, oh, yeah. Fat chick approved. Mm -hmm. These are so... They're, they're good, but so interesting because they're so butter forward. I was really surprised. It does say butter flavored biscuits on the front, but I wasn't expecting that much forwardness in the butter. You know, a lot of times you get something here in the States and it says it has this flavor and it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. No. They were not playing. This is all about the butter. It's all about that butter, that butter, that butter, no sugar. Okay, never mind. Also, Fat Chick approved. All of this will be gone probably by the end of tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Um, but yeah. What uh, snacks around the world have you tried lately? I'm trying to set this down somewhere where it's not going to fall over. Okay, right there. Do you try things from other places, even if you've never had them before, and even if sometimes there's not a full description on there of what it might be? I do. I mean, why not? Give it a shot. You never know. You might find a new favorite, right? I'd like to thank Miss Lisa Ladybird for that members pack, which has some wonderful goodies in it. There are some more goodies that will come up on another um, Snacks Around the World because I wasn't going to eat them all at once. I'm trying to be a good girl. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see you very, very soon. Thank you again for coming by and uh, bye y'all.